both of you should align them and both your lives will provide accurate navigation even in the wildest typhoons. Walk with the master and work on the marriage. The reason I give you this golden compass with such confidence is because it is based upon 1 John 1 and 7. It comes straight from the Lord himself, who said that in this verse, if we walk in the light of his presence, we will have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sins. Now, if this ship that we are launching today on the sea of matrimony is the fellowship of 1 John 1 and 7, Jesus Christ will be the captain, and the relationship will be, will be godly partnership, not a godless battleship. It will sail on, and when the winds of pleasant days blow across it, it will sail on when the world foods of financial hardship swirl around it. It will sail on when the bright clouds of perennial responsibility drift above it. And it will sail on when the billows of misunderstanding, sickness, tragedy, and death crash against it. It will sail on because it was steered by Jesus Christ, blown on its way by the winds of the Holy Spirit, studied by the anchors of the daily Bible study, prayer, and regular church attendance. It will, and it will be loaded with the priceless cargo of that biblical sort of love that does so much, remains so constant, but gives so frequently, and acts so sensibly. The Bible teaches us to let our hearts be knit together in love. There will be times when it will seem easier to quit than knit, but it's not. Just keep on knitting. Knitting your hearts together, committing yourselves to Christ, submitting yourselves to each other, omitting the black curse of bad habits from the go home, and admitting the fruit of the Spirit, and admitting the fruits of the Spirit in a constant and godly family life. This is God's plan for you, his fellowship of love and excitement for all those who walk with the master and work on the marriage. If you then, Tim and Donna, have freely and deliberately chosen each other as partners in this holy estate, and know no just cause why you should not be united, of token and token, therefore, will you please join right hands. <laughs>